Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with the edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And Shalawam, Labachorium, Wabarakim, Shayasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashawam Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. You know, in the name of this lesson is going to be called Ownership in the Kingdom. You see? Because the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be reigned with first and foremost, uh, Lord Yahweh Shah, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, and, you know, in the, in the house of David and David himself, man, underneath Lord Yahweh Shah, you know, being joint heirs. And who we going to own in the kingdom of heaven? These other heathen nations, beginning with the elites, okay, the international banker families. So which are Edomites, so-called white people. So now let's go, to, let's, let's start off with the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter in the ninth verse. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear, which is talking about spiritually, meaning if he can understand what's about to be read, understand it and receive it. Verse 10, and it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And what's another word for captivity? Slavery bondage so he that put us into slavery they're going to go into slavery okay according to the bible okay he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity esau edom which is the so-called white people beginning with their elites and the other heathen nations man they all had a downfall and a part in our us uh, in, in having us in slavery man at one point in time it says, he that killeth with the sword, and what's his, what's his blessing? What was Esau, Edom's, uh, uh, well, first and foremost, Esau, which is the forefather of the Edomites, his blessing was the sword, right? You know, which trickles on down to these times, okay? So, he that killeth with the sword, their blessing, their disease, warfare, you know, pretty much uh, their deception, their destruction, Okay? Like it says in Revelation, they got power and authority to take peace from the earth. All right. It says must be killed with the sword. So they're going to be getting, you know, deleted by our blessing, man. Which Lord's going to be a part of the elect. It's going to be their spiritual powers, man. And having those sinless spiritual bodies. Okay. And it says here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And the saints are the Israelites. Okay, beginning with the elect, you know, and the patience goes back to suffering. Okay, you know, because while we're persevering and we're waiting for this prophecy to come to pass, we're suffering because we're in captivity and also because we're sinning. But guess what? By us having faith in these scriptures and in the prophecy, it, it comforts us in these times, like Isaiah 33 and 6 says, you know. It keeps us stable in these times that we're living in. It's our hope. You know? So now, let's go from there. To the book of Psalms. Chapter 149. It says, uh, I'll go to verse 6. I'll start at verse 6. This is Psalms 149, verse 6. It says, Let, let the high praises of Yahweh Shema Shah be in their mouth, and the two-edged sword in their hand, which is a literal. Okay, and it says, this is what we're going to do. It says, verse 7, to execute vengeance upon the heathen. And that and this is going to begin with the wicked elites, man. Okay, the international banker families, you know, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, you know, and all the other elite banker families that are in league with them. Okay, they all going into slavery, man. They're going to preserve, they're going to be, uh, What's the word? Uh, preserved, you know what I'm saying, for slavery. They're going to uh, be uh, uh, pretty much spared from the nuclear destruction, and then they're going to go ahead first into slavery, okay? 
And it says, a punishment upon the people. Verse 8, it says, to bind their kings with chains. See? And the word binds goes back to imprison. All right? Or to take as a prisoner. Okay? It says, to take prison or to imprison their kings, which is the wicked elites, with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. And fetters goes back to shackles. Okay, now what does that sound like, man? That don't sound like peace and love and hugs and uh and peace on earth. It sounds like slavery to me, man. Okay, and we read inside of the scriptures, out of the Bible. And one of the same ones that's collecting dust in these wacky tacky Christians' houses, man. You see? Verse 9, it says to execute upon them the judgment written. And we just read one of the judgment written in Revelation, the 13th chapter. The ninth and tenth verse, which is uh the prophecies, okay, the prophecies of them uh going into slavery, you know, and uh them getting uh you know double what they did unto us, you know. It says, "This honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord." And it's definitely gonna be an honorable thing to get our hands on these 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 heathen nations, man. I'm keep it PG, okay. You know, and Lord's going to be a part of the elect to make it on the first go round to have that honor, to have that permission and privilege from Yahweh Bashim Al to 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 go and grab them up, man, and shackle them up and put all types of hell on them. Okay. So and the, 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 the two thirds that gets destroyed here in Babylon the Great, you know, they're going to be coming back to the loins of the elect in the kingdom. As well as these other heathen nations that get, you know, destroyed here. They're coming right into slavery. They're going to go be born right into slavery in the kingdom of heaven. You know? So now, let's go from there. Keep these precepts rolling. Matter of fact, let's go back to Revelation. Let's go to Revelation chapter 2, starting at verse 25. It says, But that which ye have, have already... Hold fast till I come. Now, this is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. Lord Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, said this. It says, that which you have already, hold fast, which means to hold firmly till I come, meaning till he returns. And what are we going to, what are we supposed to hold fast to or to hold firmly to? This truth, the understanding and the wisdom and knowledge of uh, that Yahweh Bashim Shah has given us. Okay, because we fear the Lord. Verse 26, it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, see, meaning finishing the course, okay? Holding fast to the truth, which the word overcome means to get win the victory over, okay? So he that got a victory over and keepeth, you know, your Howard Shaw's works unto the end, you know, which is the ones that's going to be saved according to, was that Matthew 24 and 13? Lord Yahweh Shah says, he that shall endure for to the end, the same shall be saved, right? When he returns, it says, to him will I give power, which means authority, over the nation. See, man, because listen, man, we ain't going to be, <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> we ain't going to be, um, what's the word, equally, uh, uh, have an equal authority with the other heathen nations, man. You see? We're going to be over them. You know, we're going to be their heads. You know? And it says, um, verse 27. And it says, uh, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. See, we ain't going to be side by side. We ain't going to be equal. The scripture says that he, we're going to rule them. Okay? It says, with a rod of iron, that scepter. Okay? And here's what we're going to do with it. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. And shivers, the definition of the word is pieces. So with that king's scepter, we going to be, you know, bashing them to pieces, man. Okay? You know? Putting in that work on them. Even as I received of my father. See? Because uh, the heavenly father, Yahweh. Gave Lord Yahweh Shah his glory 
So Lord, as women be a part of the elect, y'all by Shema shall give us ours as well, man. You know, of getting those spiritual bodies, you know, not going off no more, you know, being completely uh righteous, man. You know, and reigning underneath Lord Yahweh Shah and making it on the first go around. So now, let's go back to Psalms. Let's go to the book of Psalms, the second chapter, and the eighth verse. This is Psalms chapter 2, verse 8. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathens, a.k.a. the other, the, uh, other nations. It says, For thine inheritance. See? So they're going to be a part of the prize, man. Okay? It says, um, uh, let's see. Let me read this over. This is Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possessions. See? And also, we're going to inherit those other planets, man. Okay? And it says, uh, that's part of the prize that the elect of the nation of Israel is going to receive. You know? Along, alongside of many other rewards that they're going to that they're going to receive, that the elect is going to receive. That's why we're hoping to be a part of that number. Verse 9, it says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. I just read that in Revelation, the second chapter, which goes into that king's scepter, man. And it says, uh, which the book of Revelation, the second chapter, was quoting this scripture right here. It says, And thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, when you go into the word dash, it goes back to the Hebrew word mana, no, napa, napataza, which means to break. It says to beat in pieces, man. You know? So, like the elder apostles always say, I don't know how in the world they're going to survive the, fifth, the, the first 15 minutes in the kingdom, man. You know? There's going to be a whole lot of, you know, uh, uh, open up a cans of whoop ass on these other heathen nations, man. Okay. And it says, uh, verse nine, I'm gonna read it again. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron, right? Because we're gonna have that power and authority over them. And it says, and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. You see? So that's prophecy right there. Hold on, give me a minute. All right, Salakia for that uh, the interruption. So the last priest that we're going to grab is the book of uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, and the 16th verse. It says, this is prophecy that I'm reading here, you know, and we're declaring it before it happens. Okay, which the word prophesy means to say before. This is Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And the key word there is all. Okay. All that devour us is going to be devoured, man. We got devoured with their blessing, okay? So now they're going to get devoured by ours, you know? It says, verse, uh, and it reads on, it says, And all thine adversaries, which the word adversaries goes back to enemies, okay? It says, Every one of them shall go into captivity, see? Of the other heathen nations, man, okay? From the man, the woman, and the child, man. Okay? Every one of them was going into captivity, a.k.a. slavery. It says, And they that spoiled thee, which goes back to plunder, you know, which pretty much plunder goes back to, like, uh, robbing and taking something from somebody by force, which they did. And they that spoiled thee shall be a spoil. So all things that they took from us, because everything belonged to us anyway, we're going to take it back by force. It says, uh, like this, like, like as it is written, the saints of the most, the most high shall take the kingdom. You know, Lord Yahweh Shah is coming back to conquer, man. You know? And it, as well as his elect. Verse, uh, and it reads on, And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So it's going to be a role reversal, man. Okay? They prayed on us by setting up these different prison systems and 
uh, laws and legislations that they pass. You know, they prey upon our people, you know. So they're going to be a prey, man. You know, they the one, they going to get uh, <laughs> the double oppression that they did unto us, man. You know, but it also is going to, our judgments and that we're going to execute is going to be in righteousness, though. That's going to be the difference, you know. It's going to be wicked. It's going to be righteous laws established, unlike in this kingdom where it's wicked laws established, you know, and exalted, you know. So, Lord's windows edifying through the spirit. Lord's will until next time I say, Shalom.